Hey, what's going on, guys? If you really can't hear me, I'm sorry. I'm very sick. My throat is killing me right now. But anyway, no, I don't think this chapter was a two-week wait chapter. But, I mean, it was epic nonetheless. But anyway, the first thing we pretty much see is Kakashi and Obito talking about the fight, you know. And Kakashi says, why? And then Obito says, why won't you shut up? I mean, that was just hilarious to me. And he says that you're that you're only trash that could talk. And throughout this whole chapter, you know, trash is here, trash is everywhere. Everybody's trash in this chapter. And um Obito sucks up Kakashi and I thought that was it for Kakashi. Cause cause we switched over to um <clears throat> we switched over to Naruto and the wood dragon is sucking out the Kyuubi's chakra. And honestly, I thought that was it for Naruto. Well, at least for BG mode for the time being, but of course he breaks out, but that doesn't happen until later in the chapter. Then we go back to Kakashi. And then, you know, he's having flashbacks. And like I said, he's not able to fight seriously right now. He's like still in shock. And, you know, a few thoughts run through his head. And then he uses Kamui, how Obito uses it. He makes himself, you know, he teleports himself with it. Which has me thinking if Kakashi um, survives this, he can, you know, make attacks go straight through him like Obito can. That would be epic. But anyway, um, he comes back. The Obito says, as as expected, we have the same eye, blah, blah, blah. He's just sitting there and calls him trash again. And then Obito like, does like this Wolverine kind of slash with two big-ass shurikens. And um, I thought he was done there, too. And then we go back over to Naruto. And then fucking um, Madara calls him trash. I'm like, damn, everybody's trash in this chapter. And um, Naruto says, I have some words to tell you. And he says, I'm not trash or I'll never be trash. And he gives this small but epic little speech. That he breaks out from the wood dragon, makes a clone. He goes over there to Kakashi to help, um, to help, to help Kakashi. And he grabs the big ass shuriken that's about to kill him. And he grabs the um, Susanoo blade that's about to um, kill B. And at that point, I thought B was done for, except, you know, until Naruto did that. You know, it looked like a lot of people was about to die. I'm, I'm thinking somebody's going to have to die soon. But, yeah, and then Kakashi pretty much tells Obito that, you know, I made a promise to you back then. But basically what he's saying is, you know, what you're with, what what you left me with is still with me. Like, I won't abandon my friends, so I'm going to protect Naruto. But I'm sorry that I couldn't protect Ren. And, you know, Obito still says you let Ren be murdered or you let Ren die, which has me wondering, like, what in the hell actually happened. I really can't wait for that explanation. And you could tell some of the words Kashi was saying, like, is this because of Ren and stuff. Um, it kind of got to Obito a little bit because, you know, he was looking down and then he had to look back up like a like a tough guy. And Naruto may have grabbed a Susanoo blade with his, you know, Kyuubi arm, but guys, Hirodor grabbed the whole fucking Susanoo. And after that, you know, everybody's getting up. It looks like Akashi's about to start fighting seriously. It looks, you know, it looks like it's about to turn up, actually. Now, Kakashi's about to start fighting seriously. Guy's back in the game, and B's back in the game, so it's gonna be an all all out, all out brawl. And I can't wait for the next chapter. I mean, this chapter not much really happened, but it was like I said, epic nonetheless. But anyway, no, I'm sorry. This, this review was short. Like I said, I'm not feeling the best. I gotta get ready for school. But anyway, this is JB the Chia. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'm out.